I want to talk about this niche thing, okay? Over the weekend, I had um, quite a few coaching calls with my clients, and uh, three of them are stuck on this niche thing, okay? Now, the mistakes that people are making with niche are, you know, they're normal, that it is okay to be able to, to, to make these mistakes, but you can't get stuck there, you can't stay there. All right. So, yes, these mistakes, I'm going to I'm going to go through them right here, right now. OK, because I was taking notes and I was wondering, OK, why are people stuck? I'm going to go through them right now. And then after that, I want you to look at where you are and what you need to do. But probably give you a little bit of a backstory about my niche and how I ended up where I'm at now might help you. OK, I started off as uh, a. A hypnotherapist okay i used to do hypnotherapy i used to get people in a trance and help them out you know this was a long time ago maybe 15 years ago uh and then from there i transitioned into uh what did i go into i went oh, okay first of all was i a good hypnotherapist yes uh did i like it no uh and there's not many clients and uh, besides there's not many people trusting a black guy to get them into trance and and allow them to go into trance while he's in their house or something like that anyway i was in a country where that could have been a problem Fast forward, uh, I then got into, um, what did I do next? Uh, business coaching, okay? I went into business coaching and uh, I was working for Tata at the time. I, I, you know, I did a little bit of business coaching, but it, you know, it still wasn't working that well. Why? Because I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel that I had the knowledge to do it. Then from that coaching, then I evolved into uh, doing a lot of therapy because I was an NLP practitioner now and a master practitioner. So, you know, I did, I did some... Uh, some uh, therapies there and then from there i went into public speaking okay and uh you know that is where i was really beginning to get into this you know i was loving it okay and up till this day i have one of you know i i think we have one of the best courses on public speaking around the world because i did it for such a long time and i loved it uh and then that evolved into uh because i, I got all these people coming and asking me hey i'm an executive here you know i'm a leader here i want to do this so then i got into helping leaders to be more comfortable to be more uh helping leaders to be more assertive helping leaders to present their ideas and while i still whilst i was doing that i was also then helping them to create better cultures and better companies and stuff like that then i evolved into team buildings and, and taking people on leadership retreats and things like that i did that for a long time and i was very successful on that one by the way the previous ones to that you know the success was negligible I was pretty successful there and then that evolved into you know with all the corona thing coming up that evolved into strictly executive coaching. first uh, first thing do not get married uh, to a niche don't don't be caught up oh my god this is all i know oh my god you know uh, you know i have to be this or i have decided this is what i gotta be no niches evolve you know there are certain people who i started with them when they were just a low manager or they were just a supervisor now they're an executive and i have evolved with them i have changed my niche now they have also come along with me and they have evolved and become somebody else the purpose of you picking a niche and or start somewhere is you got to start okay there's a lot of uh, perfection of paralysis or paralysis of perfection you're not moving because you're worried about the niche you're not doing what you have to do and i'm saying hey cut all that stuff out let us get one niche and that's it start get out there do the research do the research ask the market do your napkin test okay Get out there and ask the people who you want to serve, what their problems are. And ask yourself, do I have the ability to serve them? Do I have the ability to make a difference to them? If you do, bingo, let's go. If you don't, hey, you can always learn. You can always find a way to what? To help them out, okay? You'll not know if it is the right one until you're out there and making it happen. You don't know if it's the right one until you're out there and serving them. Just pick one and go, okay? Whatever it is, okay? And like I said, you know, when I decided that I was going to do uh, business coaching, I didn't know if it was going to work, but I just got, I had to get something to go. And that's exactly what I did. And that is exactly what I'm saying to you right now. Just pick one and go. Okay. It will evolve. You'll become better. You'll then find your sweet spot and then you will, you know, uh, kind of sharpen that and you'll find where you love it so much. And then boom, bingo, you're good to go. Next. Okay. One of the other uh, mistakes that people are doing is their copy cutting. Okay, and not doing your own research. You see something, you see somebody say, Oh, Coach Phil is doing this, I want to do this. Oh, Helen is doing this, I want this. Oh, Poppy is doing this, I want to do this. Oh, this. No, every one of us is unique in our own way. All right, just ask the market and all the people you'd want to serve, just ask them what is their problem and ask yourself, Can I serve them? Can I solve their problem? Okay, you might be a nutritionist. Okay, now, nutritionist is not your niche. I want to get i want us to get a leadership is not your niche 
Training is not your niche, okay? Your niche is a group of people who are evolving and or going somewhere. Is to be able to help them to get there by removing obstacles, getting them away the pain, giving them a plan and them to get there. Okay, so do not copy. You know, it's amazing how, and I have been a victim of this before, you know, where I thought maybe I could be like Les Brown. Maybe I could, you know, that has always been my, my idol. And then you go and meet a guy like T. Haveka who is totally on the opposite side, crazy but passionate. And then you attend Tony Robbins and you're thinking, damn. Will I ever be? And then you, you know, you get caught up in Paris. Then I thought, you know what? There's only one field. And this one field can find his own passion. Now, I will tell you the kind of people that I work with and or I attract, for some reason, they're always the same. Why? They resonate with my no-nonsense uh, uh, approach. They resonate with the fact that um, it, I, I tell you from day one, we're going to put in the work. But also the fact that they know that I care and I actually want them to win and I've been around for a long time. I don't attract very young people. It's just the way it is. I don't attract very young people, but I've chosen a niche that is not very young. It's just right in the middle of people who have danced, they have failed, and they're looking to, to help themselves to go to the next level. And in doing that, they find me, I find them, I help them out, they build the business, they get successful, they're happy, I'm happy. Okay? We must stop copycatting and just pick who you really are, design your work around who you are and how you can serve these people, and then bingo, you're good to go next. You're too afraid uh, to be you, okay? You want to fit in. You want to be politically correct. You don't want to, 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 to say things that are really in your heart. You just want to be the nice guy. You just, look, I say certain things sometimes to repel certain people, okay? Because I, I know who I am. I know what I can do. I know what I can serve. And I know you know who you are. And I know you know you believe who you are is the kind of, look, your real, the real deal of you is going to attract the right people to you. As simple as that. The real, the real you will attract the right people to you. So this uh, notion of uh, you've got to be politically correct. Most importantly, the real you is not showing up. And if the real you is not showing up, that means that you're attracting the wrong people because they're, they're, they're being attracted to, to something that you've made up that is not you. Just be you. Just be okay to be you. It doesn't matter. Do, you, look, you, you're going to get up. You're not going to feel good. You're not going to have your makeup on. You're not going to... Come on, roll. Because the people who love you will see the rawness and they're like, you know what? I want to be like this guy. It is okay to be you. By the way, people get people get attracted to you for who you are, not, not who you pretend to be. How that makes sense. I really hope that makes sense. You know, um, forget about guys who are showing you their, 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 their Ferrari and whatever. You can hire that shit, okay? You can hire that stuff and put it up and, you know, and, and go, I can go take pictures in a beautiful hotel. I can go take pictures on the beach. I, I can do all that stuff. But is that what my ideal client is looking at? My ideal client is looking at a, a possibility of having that. To, uh, to be yourself, i.e. you're fitting in. Next, you want to be what we call a generality rather than a meaningful specific. You're trying to solve everything for everyone and trying to solve that means that your pricing is going to be too low and that means that you are focused on competing with other people all the time every time instead of competing on value and transformation the moment you try to be everything for everybody you're going to fail it's going to be hard you're going to have to only compete on price okay and the moment you get into a price war you're never going to win it's impossible even if you could win, you're still going to have to charge way, way, way lower than everybody else. Now, what does that mean? That means that uh, you don't have a viable business because without a good cash flow, you're not going to be able to sustain the message. So what am I saying? I am saying to you, you can't solve everybody's problem. You've got to pick a group of people, specific people, and decide those are the people that I am going to serve, that I'm going to serve. End of story. And then... Go and serve them with quality and transformational results. You can't get transformational results for everybody. It's impossible. It is impossible. There are some organizations I can't work with. There are certain people I can't work with. Okay? I can't work with bullshitters. I can't work with people who want to look good. I can't work with people who want polished language. I can't. It's not going to work. But I am a specialist. I am an expert in you starting your business and doing what you got to do to scale it. That is what I do. And it is based on do whatever it takes. That's very, very important, okay? Solving everything or everybody or attempting to solve everybody gets you into price wars and you can never win that. And then finally, 
Find where your skill hasn't been used yet. Find where your skill hasn't been used yet. Look, when I got into the business of helping coaches, consultants, speakers grow their business, I also realized that because I started in the public speaking arena, I realized that a lot of my <coughs> pardon me, a lot of my confidence, a lot of my um, a lot of my uh, you know my passion started from public speaking. Then I realized there's a lot of coaches, speakers who are out there, but they don't, especially consultants, they don't understand the power of public speaking to be able to grow their business. And that is where I started. So I, I positioned myself because I know how to get people to speak. I know how to get people to come out of their shell and be, you know, uh, outrageously charismatic on stage. I know because I did it for such a long time. Now, I knew that that wasn't being used. On top of that, my skill of being able to see what, what, what somebody can achieve and then be, I can also give them a plan of how to build their business. Boom. I am going to go for that niche. So, who are, you know, uh, who are ready, good to, good to go, or I'm not looking for people who don't have anything to, no, there's, there's a little middle there where somebody has a business, they have a niche, or they, they, they have a business, they have an idea, they've been doing stuff and it's not working, and they just want to be, you know, uh, to realign and get some confidence to do what they have to do. The moment that we can click that in place, everything else changes. So I wanted to come out this morning and say, hey, come on, forget about uh, trying to be the best. Uh, forget about uh, thinking about this paralysis and, and trying to find the perfect one. You just got to start. Most importantly, find somewhere where your skill, your, two, your, your skill and your passion and your knowledge can find a gap in the market. Boom. When it connects, bingo. So I also want to encourage you that, hey, listen, it doesn't matter where you start. All you got to do is start. Yes, sometimes it will feel groggy. Yes, sometimes you feel like you ain't getting it. I just want you to get started, okay? Find a niche, go and do the research, find out what their problems are, and then whatever the problems are, begin to answer those problems. And as you do that, you become better, you become... And by the way, you're never going to pick something that you're not good at or that you don't want. No. Actually, as a matter of fact, you will find your, yourself being attracted to the people that you can really serve. And that only comes after you have committed. Commitment. If you commit, you say, I'm going to do this. When you commit, somehow the universe opens up to support you. And that is what I want to encourage you this Monday and say, come on, it's possible. It is very, very possible for you and me to get out there and make something happen. I am making it happen. Hundreds and hundreds of uh, my clients are making it happen. And I know you can make it happen because I believe in you. And I know that you have the audacity to live life on your terms. So until next time, I want you to keep pushing. I want you to know that you have the audacity. I want you to believe in yourself. Most importantly, just get started. It doesn't matter. Out there. If you don't like video, put um, an audio out there. Just put something out there and just start. And if one person likes it, bingo, surprise, you're like, yes, one person. Okay. Oh my God, coach, only one person. Dare, you didn't have the one person in the first place. You celebrate it. And then before you know it, two and then two and then three and then three, boom. Before you know it, world class consultant with the dusty. So, you know, I love you. I'll see you next time. Peace.